this is the Zodiac speaking. Hey, what's up guys? It's Zodiac. Welcome to Back to Basics Episode 2, M16 Edition. I'm using the M16, the kick proficiency, and red dot sight. Uh, this is what was very early on. It was an early gameplay, so I hadn't leveled the M16 up. I, if you are going to go for trying the M16, I'm going to warn you right now. Worst assault rifle in the game. Minimum of two bursts to kill somebody. Um, very, very slow rate of fire. It's, in my opinion, the worst. But I have grown to like it. I will say that. Once you level it up and once you get rapid fire unlocked for this thing, it is actually a very usable weapon. Not the best. Usable. Uh, it forces me to play a little more conservatively. I am a running gunner. I like to run around the map. I usually stay moving at all times. I camped a little bit here because I knew these guys were coming back for revenge. That uh, didn't work out so well for them. But it forces me to play a little more conservatively. I try and put a little more distance between me and my enemies as much as possible. Right there was a big fail because that guy came around and I, I aimed terribly. I... I'll admit that that was totally on my aim. But if I try and play conservatively with this gun, like I said, minimum of two round bursts. Mi sorry about that. Minimum of two bursts to take down somebody. Uh, I'm sure you could probably headshot and get it in one, but who takes the time for that every shot? If you can, great for you. I normally do not have that much time. As you can see, I'm chasing this guy and I can barely catch up to him. So you gotta land at least two bursts to kill somebody. So I try and distance myself whenever I can. If you can get some distance between you and them, you got a much better shot. You can get some decent streaks going. Um, I'm using the USP-45 on here because I hate machine pistols. And the USP-45 is my favorite pistol in the game. I know it's low, it's not, it's not the greatest out there, but I like it once you get it up to Akimbo awesome so for m16 like i said once you get rapid fire unlocked for this thing very usable great gun i'm still using it i've almost got it up to gold now so i think having a gold m16 is a badge of honor just because it is such a hard gun to use i know there's people out there who could beast me with an m16 and if you are an m16 user that would like to try that i would love to play with you because i would love to see somebody do awesome with this gun um, I call this decent. It, I think it's like 20 and 8 or something like that. 20 and, I don't know. It's 20 and some single digit number. So I call that a decent gameplay with this gun. Um, if you guys have something better, let me know. Link me to it. Um, if you want to play with me, let me know. And we'll go M16 in together. Um, if you have any weapons that you'd like to suggest to me for, for this, I, I just got an AA-12 gameplay out there because it was requested of me. And I want to thank... Um, my buddy there who suggested that to me because A12 awesome freaking shotgun I started using that thing I almost got that up to gold now it is great it's awesome I'm sure it's a spammy weapon but I mean it takes again two to three shots to kill with that thing too so it's not an incredibly hard weapon to counter so I'm trying out new guns uh, what I'm trying to go for is low level unlocks so if you guys have any low-level unlocks that you would like to suggest to me to try out and use, I would love to know. Uh, right now I've been using the CM901, the Type 95, uh, obviously the UMP, because it's one of, my, one of my favorite SMGs. Um, MP5, I've almost got that up to gold too. So any low-level guns that you guys can suggest to me to use that I haven't used yet, I would love to hear it. I love trying new weapons out. It's what keeps the game fresh. So if there's something I haven't used, I've been trying for that. Um, I really don't have any more tips as far as M16 goes besides distance yourself, stealth, um, and patience. It is a very, very good gun once you get it leveled up and get the, the higher proficiencies and attachments for it. Um, at a low level like this, it it does suck. You're going to have plenty of games where you're going, I hate this freaking gun. I just want it to be done with. I'm going to switch out and use something else. Patience. If you want to use the M16, patience. And that's really all I have for tips. Um, everybody have a great Easter or Passover if you're Jewish. Um, 
my Easter was okay. It was I had fun. I got to hang out with my wife and kid. I been working a lot. My wife's been working a lot, so I haven't really been seeing them too much. So it's it was nice to spend a day with them. Uh, very tired because I had a long night before that. I worked all night, went to bed at 6 a.m. and woke up at 9. So it was it was a long day. So I hope everybody had a good holiday, you know, Easter, Passover, whatever you celebrate. If you didn't celebrate anything, that's cool, too. I'd also like to throw out there for my other series that I'm doing here uh, for the Passive Aggression. I would like to add some people for that, too. So if anybody out there wants to wants to add me for any other reasons, too, obviously, I'd love to play with my subscribers. Um, got a great couple games in with one of them, uh, Ruby Dragon Star, the other day. Going to have a, one of those gameplays coming out. Uh, he was a great team player. We did a lot of objective modes. Uh, I think we won most, if not all, of the games that we played. So that was a good time. Um, passive aggressive, though, I'm running a little short on people to do it with. A lot of the people I've been running passive aggression with uh, just haven't been around lately. Um, I'd like to get some more of those out there. I've got this account leveled up to 80 now. I've got all my perks that I need. So if anybody out there wants to do some passive aggression with me, uh, you know, let me know. Give me your ally code and I'll add you on Modern Warfare 3. Uh, if you have Skype, what, that's even better because uh, we normally tend to Skype when we do that because I can't record the conversations otherwise and it's really not much fun without the conversation so if you guys have Skype that would be great it makes it even better for doing passive aggression I'd love to add you guys for any other reasons too always good to have more people to play with but passive aggression is going to be my main focus right now I've, it's one of my favorite series it, it keeps the game incredibly fun to play because what's better than beating people without killing them? Well, besides Moabs and other things that I can't pull off. But aside from that, if you can't get a Moab like me, come on over. Play some passive aggression. I'd also like to throw a big thank you out there for Editor's Depot. I got that new intro, the uh, Wireframe MSR, from them. Um, they are a, a great YouTube site. I'll throw their link in the description. So if you guys do montages or anything cool like that, they have great cinematics, they have um, all sorts of other 3D models, they have all sorts of cool shit over there that you can use. And they don't care if you use it, just give them credit. So I'll throw their link in the description. Um, shout out to Neko for playing this game with me too. Um, a lot of my clan mates have added me on this YouTube account here and... I appreciate their patience while I leveled this up and really wasn't playing my main account too much. And that really wraps it up for me. I don't have a lot going on to uh, talk about. I got the you know, stuff out there for the series. So, use the M16 if you want to challenge yourself. Um, USP 45s I mentioned earlier. Level those up to Akimbo. Great knifing with that thing because it has a tactical lunge. Um, if you want to add me, add me. If you don't, that's fine too. Comments, likes, always appreciated. I love to know how I'm doing. I love getting feedback. And that's really all I have, and I will talk to you guys next time. Job complete. Well done.